found some of them markers you was talking about, Jerry. Aha. Uh -huh. I think they're switching out that other engine or cars. So I'm just out for a drive today. It's Saturday. And uh, I don't know. Cruise through Newark. Caught these guys switching out some cars. And then uh, probably head up to Coshocton, maybe Mount Vernon. Just do a loop. See what's going on. Hopefully it'll be a nice day and we can catch some trains. So, well, let's see what I find. This one's a little longer than I thought. I thought he's just picking up cars on that siding. Empty trash train heading to Columbus to pick up a load. was a hard hit probably heading back to pick a conductor up we'll see
we'll continue our journey and see what else we find today. Shockton, Ohio Rail Depot. I have no information on it, just found it when I got here. The uh, Shockton town sign is missing. I'm probably gonna get the sign. Yep. And right next to it is the uh, old freight building. Still in pretty good shape. So it's nice to see it still exists. So at the Coshocton, Ohio Fairgrounds, they also have this Pennsylvania caboose. Very nice, very nice. And they also have the Nickel Plate Road caboose. Nice little signal there. So yeah, when you go on your little road trips, you never know what you're gonna find when you get there. So we'll move to the next area and see what else we find. Well, I'm still in Coshocton, Ohio, and once again, I have found something that I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's some kind of tie down. Maybe there was something sitting here that they didn't want going anywhere. So, thought you might find that interesting, but it is at the end of a rail. There's four of them in total. So maybe a car was sitting here. They just had it anchored down. I don't know. But I thought you might find these cool. And I hear a train. So let's see if we can catch one.
on, got some new container cars here. Yeah. Put some Connex vans on those. Those are pretty. Brand spanking new. Ooh. They go on forever. Sweet. Looks like it'll hold four of the small ones, or two of the mediums, or one of the big ones, and then stack them. This one's a long train, that's why I kept pausing it. So that was a nice catch here in Coshocton, Ohio. I think from here I'll head up to Mount Vernon and see what else I can find up there. So we're in Mount Vernon, Ohio. Here's a nice little mural. And the B&O Railroad. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, I'm in Mount Vernon, Ohio, and this is the old B&O Depot. I don't know much about it. I do know it was built in 1907. It was restored, and they did at one time make it available for rentals for parties or other things, but right now I think it's part of the Knox County Area Developmental Center, so I think it's an office building at this point. But at 1907 and was in operation for 95 years. But this one is a very nice architecture. Had nice rail access, that's for sure. Looks like there's an old baggage scale or freight scale. That's pretty cool. And this is the non track side. So, BO Rail Depot. Let's go see what else I can find in Mount Vernon. One of the other things in Mount Vernon is the old glass factory and foundation park. It's a pretty large park, but the attraction is the old smokestack. They built a spiral staircase. You can walk and take a look at the surrounding area in the city of Mount Vernon. So yeah, you ever get this way? Stop by and take a look. I was here last year. I did the tower. It's, it's pretty nice up there. So now I'm just outside of Mount Vernon, Ohio, in a town called Gambier, close to the Kenyon College. And this sits along the Kokosin Gap Trail. It's a hiking trail, which I believe was the former railroad line back in its day. Yeah, just get out and about and explore. You'll find all kinds of railroad related stuff or any other history thing you might be into yeah I'm just doing road trips just you know driving around see what I can find so I don't have a lot of history on anything that I do find I just start driving and sometimes I'll be out somewhere and somebody will refer to me to something they'll say hey go up this way and I'll go up that way and these are the things we find. Well, the build plate on the front nose, it's an Alco 
and you can tell by the wheel configuration it's an 060 switcher and looks like commissioned in 1940 so there's a little bit of information I know it's beautiful Well, there was another fine road trip. Hope you guys like to tag along with me. We just set out. Day off. Didn't uh, have nothing to do around the house. So we just took a road trip. Found quite a bit of interesting stuff. A lot of action on the rails. But yeah. As always, if you guys enjoyed the show, share it. Like, subscribe. Pass it along. Maybe we'll go on another trip somewhere. Happy out.